Hey, Mike with Rogue Pest Control here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the longhorn beetle and some different facts you might not know and what they eat. So basically the longhorn beetle gets its name from its super long antenna. So sometimes they're as long as its body and in some cases it's even longer than their body and that's really where it gets its name. So it's not really horns, but it's a long antenna. Now these pests, can do a lot of damage. What they do is they feed off of different hardwood trees. So they're gonna be feeding off of things like maple, birch, willow, elm, ash, poplar, and other different hardwood trees that are out there. And they actually do a lot of damage. So what they do is they will burrow into the trunk, the bark of the trees, and they actually make an individual hole for each larva that they lay. And so what happens as these larvae hatch, they will continue to burrow deeper into the tree, into the structure of the trunk, and what that does is it does a lot of damage. It basically helps to cut off the nutrients that are going throughout the tree, so this can lead to the tree dying. Um, some great indications that you might have a longhorn beetle issue is that you'll see holes all over the tree, and then also you might see discoloration of leaves that's uncharacteristic, right? So it's not during the fall or anything when you'd normally see the leaves change in color. It's gonna be happening when they should be green, they should be normal looking, it's gonna be doing that. And then a lot of times the leaves will also be sagging or droopy, different things like that. And so not only do these pests, these longhorn beetles attack trees and forests and different things like that, they also attack untreated wood. So they can cause issues around your home as well. Now, most often they aren't going to get into your home unless they're transported there. Um, adult longhorn beetles can fly, so sometimes they might enter your home that way. But for the most part, they're transferred in unknowingly through things like firewood or untreated wood. And what, again, what happens, this is caused because the larva will burrow really deep inside these trees. And so again, like firewood, branches, sticks, different things like that. So when you bring them in your home to your fireplace, I can sometimes bring them inside. So some of the things that you can do to, again, prevent them. Uh, unfortunately, there's not really a lot that you can do because they spread very quickly and again they can do a lot of damage so unfortunately one of the main ways to treat or get rid of these is actually to burn down infected trees or chop them down and cut them up to eliminate the spread so if you feel like you maybe have a longhorn beetle issue for sure you want to alert it right away and so again you can reach out to the department of agriculture in your state to kind of let them know hey i might have a longhorn beetle issue here um, some pesticides have been shown to have effects on these longhorn beetles so you can also reach out to a pest control service especially if you're seeing them in places that are like untreated wood around your home so again like decks furniture sheds different things like that as well. And so again though, unfortunately, they really like to feed off of hardwood trees and some other prevention tips that you can use as well is not buying and transferring firewood from locations that might be infected. So again, if you buy the firewood, you wanna burn it basically in the area that you buy it so you're not transferring potentially the larva to other places, other states, other areas that aren't infected. And then again, if you are planting new trees that in an area that either is infected or that could be infected, be sure you're planting trees that aren't of the variety that these longhorn beetles can attack and lay their larva in because again, that can help reduce the spread as well. So again, hopefully you guys got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. And then if you are a first time customer with us over at Rove Pest Control, be sure to head to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and any your information for $50 off your first service with us. So whether you have a specific issue you're looking to have treated or maybe just set up a general pest control plan, be sure to head on over to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and any your information there to get that great discount. But thanks again for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.